9 Tasking Apps for Making Money If you're anything like us, then your phone is pretty much glued to your hands 24-7. Keep reading to discover the best apps to help you make money on the go. What are Tasking Apps? Tasking Apps, or Task Apps, are similar to mystery shopping. The crucial difference is that, most of the time, there's no actual shopping involved, bear with us here. Instead, a typical tasking app assignment will involve you being asked to go into a supermarket or a shop and, rather than buying something, you'll just need to look around. You'll be given a few questions to answer about items on the shelves, e. where they've been placed in store. Sometimes, you'll need to take pictures of a product, like a promotional display or something similar. And then, in return, you learn between £2-10. Pounds Easy money. There's usually no need to buy anything to take part, which is why this is a great money maker if you're scraping the bottom of your overdraft, unlike mystery shopping, where you're often expected to make a purchase and be refunded at a later date. How to use tasking apps To show you the sort of things these apps will ask you to do, here's an example of a job we completed in the past. It earned us £5, and all we had to do was take some pictures of tomatoes in a supermarket, seriously. First, we had to take a couple of photos of the whole tomato section, like this. Then, we had to count the different varieties available, for example two large tomatoes on the vine, three cherry tomatoes, etc., and then take more detailed photos of the display like this. The app will tell you exactly what to photograph, and all you have to do is take the pictures and answer the questions accurately. All in all, it took about 7 or 8 minutes to do, which is pretty good for £5. How much can you earn from tasking apps? The amount you can make on task apps will depend on how much time you're willing to dedicate to using them, as well as where you're located. If you're in a city or a larger town, you might find there are jobs available on tasking apps every day. And if you have your own transport, even if it's a bike, your options are even better. Most jobs pay between £2-6, pounds, but we've seen as much as £15 pounds for just one task before. The major selling point of tasking apps compared to other money-making apps is that as soon as your submission is accepted, which usually takes no more than a few hours, you can cash out straight away. Often, but not always, there's no minimum payout amount that you need to reach. If you make £2 or £200, you can withdraw it instantly. Oh, and lots of tasking apps have other ways to make money aside from tasking. The most common are paid surveys, but we'd recommend checking out our guide to the best paid survey websites if that's the kind of thing you're interested in. What are the best tasking apps? Field Agent Street Spotter Street Bees Be My Eye Micro Work Click Worker Best Ways to Make Money with Tasking Apps here is how to make money with tasking apps. Check the apps frequently, although some apps will send push notifications to your phone when a task is available, others might not. Each location only requires one tasker for each job, so it's worth checking tasking apps every morning around 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. This should give you the best chance of accepting the task before anyone else. Don't let the clock run out, once you accept a job on one of these apps, there's a time limit to complete the task. Of course, you might want to reserve a job so you can do it later. So pay attention to how much time you have. It's best not to accept a task with a one-hour window if you're writing an essay against the clock. Factor in travel costs, while, unlike mystery shopping, your earnings are usually 100% profit, I. You're not being reimbursed for buying something. The tasks almost always require you to be at a specific location. So, if you're going out of your way to get there, tally up the cost of transport, including parking. Then compare it to the payout amount before taking on a task. Take clear images, it can be difficult to get a clear full-length shot of a shelf when you're in a busy supermarket.